Hear that? It's the sound of wind rushing past an air pressure sensor on Mars. There's snow, there's climate, there's weather on Mars. There are few people on this planet as excited about the red planet as Dr. Victoria Hartwick. But I've always been interested in it. For the past three years, she led a team of researchers. So it was just a group of three. Studying the clouds on Mars. And yes, there are clouds on Mars. The real question is how did they get there? The prevailing view is that clouds are gonna form on dust coming from the surface, but it's really hard to get dust to altitudes above 20 or 30 kilometers. Victoria and her team looked up for inspiration. There's regions of the Earth's atmosphere, this is polar summer, and we see clouds there and they're actually forming on the burnt up bits of meteor. Luckily for the team, MAVEN landed on Mars just as their research was kicking off. The spacecraft found a layer of ionized metals on the planet's surface. That says, hey, we have meteors impacting the atmosphere, burning up and then recoagulating into smoke. And these could act as the seeds for cloud formation. Victoria put the particles Maven identified into this computer model of the entire atmosphere and surface of Mars and found they produced clouds. It was really exciting and pretty surprising, in part because what we believe they could do earlier in the planet's history. Like create a greenhouse effect, warming the surface and explaining geologic features suggesting there was once running water on the surface of Mars. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Dr. Hartwork is going to continue her research in California. She'll be looking at Mars like exoplanets, so planets that are arid and desert like. She jokingly calls those dune worlds. Also, interesting fact about this story, Dr. Hartwick, about 20 minutes before I interviewed her, had just finished defending her thesis and got her PhD. So, oh, that's so, so cool. Were you going to mm -hmm. talk to her until, I'm not talking to you until you get your PhD? Yeah, yeah. that <laughs> was the deal of that story. If you get no. it, we'll air the story. <laughs> Otherwise, we, we got to think about that. The, that. People, the people who study Mars uh, must be amazed at where we've gotten in the past 20 years, mm -hmm. where we're going in the next 20 years as mm -hmm. far as Mars. So. Yeah, and she's excited about that. She really wants and hopes that we're going to actually get there in the 2030s, like yeah. people are saying right now. So she has her fingers crossed. All right. Yeah. Dune worlds. That's interesting. So one way to put it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Allie. Thanks.